Let's go to page 790. This is lesson 16-6. The objective of this lesson is to solve systems of equations using inverse of matrices. Okay, so on page 790, you have a matrix 2, 3, 1, negative 2. And the second matrix is uh, 2 over 7, 3 over 7. 1 over 7, negative 2 over 7. So when you multiply this by, by the second matrix, what you're going to end up is you're going to get 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So up here it says, so this is your A, and this is B, and this is identity matrix. Okay. So what it's saying is that, that if you have an A times B, in this case, they are interchangeable you have to be careful. Most of, most of the time, the matrix is you cannot switch the order, okay? But in some special occasions, you, you may, and this is one of the, the special occasions. So you, when you have an A times B equal to B times A, and this is equal to I, okay? And in this case, these are called inverse matrices. So if, you are, if you're able to switch, and when you multiply equal to I, the identity matrix, that means the diagonal is 1 and everything else is 0. So this is called the inverse matrices. And, and this is used to solve system of equations. Okay. So when they are inverse of each other, so if A, so on the bottom of the page 790, so if A equal to A, B, C, D, then uh, by the way, the DET, that's a determinant. Okay, the determinant A cannot equal to zero. Okay, then the inverse, so this is not a negative one power. This means it's inverse. So if A equal to A, B, C, D, then inverse will equal to one over DET of the A times by, and what you do is on the, on the positive diagonal, remember this direction is positive, for the positive direct diagonal, you switch the two numbers, so you switch the two. And for the negative diagonals, remember when, when you're doing the, the, the determinants, right? This going this direction is plus, right? And when you go in this direction, it's minus. Okay. Okay. So for the positive diagonal, you switch the number. For the negative diagonal, you just multiply by negative one. Okay. So if a equal to a b c d, then the inverse would be one over determinant of A times the, the new matrix would be switch the number times by negative. So this is the formula for the inverse matrix. Okay, so let's go over example to see how to use this to, to find the inverse. So page 791, example 1. So you got A is equal to 6 2, negative 3, 1. Okay. I'm going to write the formula over here. So the inverse of A equal to 1 over DET of A times it by. So the A and the D will switch. And the B and the C will times by negative. So if A equal to this, then the inverse of A will equal to 1 over DET. Now remember how to do DET. Means you do the diagonal going this way. So that's 6 minus, diagonal going this way is minus, right? So minus negative 6 times it by, so the, the, the positive diagonal, you switch the number, so 6, 1 becomes 1, 6, okay? So you switch the number, but make sure you get your DET first, okay? And then this would be times by negative 1, so 2 becomes negative 2, negative 3 becomes positive 3. Okay. So you can for, for this diagonal, you switch the number. For this diagonal, you, you change it to opposite sign. You times by negative 1. Okay. And so inverse of A will equal to 1 over 12 times 1, 3, negative 2, 6. And then you multiply out. Okay. So this will be 1 over 12. This will be 3 over 12, which will give you 1 over 4. And this one is negative 2 over 12, will give you negative 1 over 6. 
This one is, you just multiply, right? So it'd be 6 over 12, it give you 1 half. Okay? So again, after you, after you get this part and you distribute each one, so this times that give you this, this times that give you that, okay? And this times this give you that, this times that give you that, okay? And that's how you find the inverse. Okay, let's go to example two, how to use the inverse to solve system of equations. Okay, so you, example two, you have 2x minus 3y equal to 1, and you have the x plus 4y equal to 6. So first, you need to write this in the matrix form. So whatever number you see is what you put down. So you're going to get 2, negative 3, and this is 1. The coefficient is 1, and this is 4. And your matrix, your, your variable matrix will be just x, y. And your answer matrix be just one six. So the numbers, whatever you see is whatever you put down, and the the variable matrix you have to make into vertical column like that. Okay. Now to solve for x and the y, you have to get rid of that. To get rid of this, you have to multiply by its inverse. Okay. Because remember from from this over here. When you have a matrix times its inverse, we give you equal to i, and i means 1, okay? So what you want to do is, you want to get rid of that. So you have to multiply by the inverse, okay? And you have to watch the order. So I'm going to put an inverse of that in front. Now you have to watch the order. Now because you put an inverse in the front, you have to put inverse on the front on this side. You have to do exactly the same thing on both sides. If you put in the front, you have to put in the front over here. Okay? So I'm going to multiply by, see this, this is your original, right? I'm going to multiply by the inverse in the front. I'm going to put a multiply the inverse in the front. So if you put in the front on this side, you have to put in the front on this side. If you put in the back, then you have to put in the back. You have to do exactly the same on both sides. Okay, you have to watch the order very carefully. Okay, and the reason you're doing the inverse, so that inverse times itself will cancel out. It becomes i, means 1. 1 times that will give you that. Okay? Again, inverse, just like reciprocal. Just like if you have like a 2 over 3, okay, and if you multiply by 3 over 2, right, and they will become 1. See that? That's the same idea, okay? So inverse would be just like uh, when you multiply reciprocals, so that this way, so this way cancel out, okay? And that's what we're doing. Okay? That's how you get rid of the matrix in front. So you don't want to do anything to it, okay? Because this will just cancel out. But this one is different. This one, you have to work these things out, right? So you already know how to do the inverse, right? So let's do the inverse. So inverse of this would be 1 over dt, so 2 times 4 is 8, minus this times that will be negative 3, right? So again, so I'm doing this. So 2 times 4 is 8, minus, go in this direction, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So that's 1 over DET. Then now to, then now to switch this number, so 2 and 4 becomes 4 and 2, negative 3 and 1 becomes 3, negative 1. Okay? So, the inverse becomes this, okay? But you don't have to do that over here because this will just cancel out, okay? But this one doesn't cancel, that's why you have to kind of, this one does not cancel, that's why you have to work it out. Okay? Now, when you multiply, you don't want to multiply this first because if you multiply first, you're going to end up with fraction like this, so it's going to become messy, so you don't want to do that. Okay? So you, you never ever want to multiply this first. You always want to do this first. Okay, so remember how to multiply matrix. Okay, you have to multiply, so this would be 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the row and the column. So it becomes 4 plus 18, and this will give me 22. Okay? So again, you have to remember how to multiply your matrix. So I'm done with the first row, first column, then I'm going to go to my second row, 
Okay. So when I multiply, again, first number times first number will give me negative 1. Second number times second number will give me the, uh, uh, the, the next number. So when I add, I get 11. Okay. So now you can see now it comes out really nice. So now you can go and multiply. Okay, so you can distribute. So this times that will give me 2. This times that will give me 1. So that means x equal to 2, y equal to 1 if you solve. Okay, so that's how you do, that's how you using the inverse to solve the system of equations. But make sure you know how to multiply your matrix, right? Again, so row times column, first number times first number, second number times second number, right? And this is the second row, first column, so the answer will go second row, first column. Okay, so make sure you know how to multiply matrix, very important.